Welcome to a dazzling ride through the world of riches, where diamonds are casual accessories and luxury is just another Tuesday. Today, we're rolling out the red carpet for the top 10 richest women in the world. That's right, folks. These leading ladies have bank accounts so massive, even Scrooge McDuck would need a bigger vault. Private islands where the only traffic jams are made of yachts, skyscrapers with their names and neon lights, and shoe collections so vast they could form their own country. These women have turned gold into their middle names and luxury into their daily grind. Now you might be wondering, what's it like to have a fortune that can buy anything from a fleet of jets to a herd of unicorns? If they existed, of course. Will it be the tech titan who turned silicon into gold, the heiress who can buy a planet or two, or the fashion mogul who wears couture to breakfast? Well, sit back, relax, and grab your fanciest snack. Whether it's caviar, truffle popcorn, or just that one piece of chocolate you've been saving. This is going to be a ride filled with laughter, luxury, and a whole lot of zeros. Because we're about to dive headfirst into the glittering, golden, and sometimes downright quirky lives of these billionaire queens. As of 2024, the top 10 richest women globally have a combined net worth exceeding $1.8 trillion, showcasing their significant contributions to the global economy. First up, reigning supreme at the top of the list is Françoise Betancourt Myers. Françoise Betancourt Myers isn't just rich, she's ultra mega super rich. Imagine having enough money to buy a small country and still having plenty left over for a lifetime supply of your favorite chocolate. Now, who is this incredible woman? Françoise is the granddaughter of Eugène Schuler, the genius behind the cosmetics empire L'Oreal. If you've ever used Maybelline mascara or splurged on Lancôme skincare, you've contributed a tiny bit to her colossal wealth. Françoise holds nearly 35% of the L'Oreal group, making her the queen of the beauty industry. Talk about having beauty in the jeans. Françoise Betancourt Myers isn't just about glitter and glam. She's also the founder and president of the Foundation Betancourt Schuler, a foundation that generously supports sciences, the arts, and promotes an inclusive society. That's right, folks. She's using her billions to make the world a better place, and not just by making us all look fabulous. Did you know that Françoise is also an accomplished author? She's written several books on Greek mythology and the Bible. So not only is she rich and philanthropic, but she's also got a brain brimming with knowledge and wisdom. Imagine having a billionaire book club. Now that's something I'd sign up for. Despite her immense wealth, Françoise is known for being quite private and low key. She's not one to flaunt her riches on social media or throw extravagant parties just for the sake of it. Instead, she prefers a quieter, more intellectual lifestyle. Maybe that's the secret to maintaining such an astronomical fortune, less spending on gold-plated yachts and more investing in the future. Alice Walton, with a mere $77.2 billion to her name. You know, just enough to buy a few continents and maybe a small moon or two. Alice Walton isn't just your average billionaire. She's the only daughter of Sam Walton, the legendary founder of Walmart. But instead of spending her days in the aisles of Walmart, looking for rollbacks and smiley faces, Alice has taken a different path. She's focused her considerable efforts and wealth on art and wellness. That's right, folks. While her siblings Rob and Jim were busy managing the retail giant, Alice was out there making the world a prettier, healthier place. Now, let's talk about her most glittering achievement the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, which she opened in 2011 in her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. This isn't just any museum, folks. This is a palace of art in the heart of the Ozarks. It's home to works by some of the greatest American artists, from Norman Rockwell to Andy Warhol. Imagine being able to stroll through a gallery filled with masterpieces, all thanks to Alice's passion for art. I bet even the security guards feel a bit more cultured working there. In 2021, Alice decided to tackle another noble cause, health. She founded the Alice L. Walton School of Medicine. Yes, not only does she appreciate the finer things in life, but she also cares deeply about helping people live healthier lives. This school aims to revolutionize medical education by focusing on holistic health and integrative medicine. So, while you might be getting your flu shot at Walmart, you can thank Alice for working on the future doctors who might just make that shot a little less painful. Alice is an avid horse lover and breeder. She even competed in cutting horse competitions, which, for those who don't know, is a sport where horse and rider work together to separate a single cow from a herd. It's like the billionaire's version of who wants to be a cowboy. Despite her astronomical wealth, Alice is known for her down-to-earth lifestyle. She's often seen driving around in her pickup truck and enjoys the simple pleasures of life. 
Maybe that's the key to her success, staying grounded, even when you have enough money to float away on a gold-plated yacht. Next fabulous billionaire on our list, Julia Koch, with a cool $66.3 billion to her name. That's right, folks, billion with a B. Just imagine having enough money to buy a lifetime supply of designer shoes and still having enough left over to purchase a few sports teams. Julia Koch's story is as intriguing as it is glamorous. When her husband, David Koch, passed away in 2019, Julia and her three children inherited a whopping 42% stake in Koch Industries. For those of you who might not know, Koch Industries is a massive conglomerate involved in everything from manufacturing to energy. So basically, Julia's family has their hands in just about everything that makes the world go round. Talk about having influence. She was an assistant to the famous fashion designer Adolfo Sardinia. That's right, she dressed high-profile clients, including none other than Nancy Reagan. Imagine having a job where your daily task is making first ladies look fabulous. No pressure, right? But Julia didn't stop there. After her fashion forward days, she stepped into a new role, the president of the David H. Koch Foundation. This foundation isn't just a name, it's a powerhouse supporting medical research, education, and the arts. Thanks to Julia, a lot of amazing work is being done to make the world a better place, one research grant and scholarship at a time. Julia has a keen eye for art and philanthropy. She's known for her generous donations to various causes, making her not just a billionaire, but also a benefactor with a big heart. If only all rich folks were this dedicated to giving back, right? Jacqueline Mars, with a sweet fortune of $39.4 billion. Yes, you guessed it, that's a lot of candy money. Enough to build a chocolate castle and still have plenty left for a lifetime supply of M&Ms. Jacqueline Mars is a name synonymous with delicious treats. She owns about one-third of Mars, the legendary candy food and pet care company founded by her grandfather. If you've ever savored a Snickers, indulged in a Milky Way, or treated your furry friend to some pedigree, you've helped add to Jacqueline's fabulous fortune. She served on the company's board for nearly two decades until her retirement in 2016, passing the candy baton to her son, Stephen Badger. Talk about keeping it in the family. But Jacqueline isn't just about sweet treats and pet food. She's also a passionate equestrian enthusiast. That's right. When she's not overseeing a candy empire, she's out on her horse farm in Virginia. This isn't just any horse farm. It's a top-notch training ground for horses ridden by Olympic medalists. So not only does she have a sweet tooth, but she's also got a knack for nurturing champions. Jacqueline's equestrian farm is so prestigious that it's practically the Buckingham Palace of horse training. If horses could give reviews, hers would get five golden horseshoes every time. Despite her immense wealth, Jacqueline is known for her low-profile lifestyle. She's not one for the limelight, preferring the peaceful, pastoral life on her farm. It's like Willy Wonka meets National Velvet, a truly unique blend. Savitri Jindal, with a robust fortune of $38 billion. She's the only Indian woman on our list and the chairperson of the Jindal Group. This powerhouse conglomerate operates in various sectors such as steel, power, cement, and infrastructure. Basically, if it's big and important, the Jindal Group probably has a hand in it. Savitri inherited her position and wealth from her late husband, Om Prakash Jindal, the founder of the Jindal Group. But she didn't just sit back and enjoy the ride. She's been actively steering the company to greater heights. Under her leadership, the Jindal Group has become a titan in the industry, proving that she's as strong as the steel her company produces. Savitri Jindal's leadership style is often described as a blend of traditional wisdom and modern savvy. She's like the Iron Lady of India, with a touch of grace and a whole lot of grit. Savitri is deeply involved in philanthropy. She's known for her charitable work, particularly in the areas of education and healthcare. It's not just about building skyscrapers and bridges. She's also building a better future for countless people. Rafaela Aponte Diamant, with a maritime-sized fortune of $35.5 billion. And folks, this isn't just any fortune, it's a self-made one, proving that you can navigate the choppy seas of business and come out on top. Rafaela co-owns a 50% stake in MSC, the world's largest shipping line, alongside her husband, who holds the other 50%. This dynamic duo started the business together, showing the world that teamwork really does make the dream work. Imagine starting from scratch and ending up owning a fleet of ships that could probably circle the globe a few times over. Talk about setting sail for success. What's truly inspiring about Rafaela is that she didn't inherit this empire. She built it. She and her husband launched MSC with just one ship in 1970, 
And today, it's a global shipping giant. That's like going from a rubber dinghy to commanding a fleet of luxury liners. Rafaela's journey began with a dream and a lot of hard work. Her story is proof that you don't need a silver spoon to make a golden fortune. You just need determination, perseverance, and maybe a bit of seawater in your veins. So let's give a big salute to Rafaela Aponte Diamant, the maritime maven who turned her dreams into a billion dollar reality. And now, let's keep sailing forward to our next incredible woman, Mackenzie Scott. Now let's meet Mackenzie Scott, who's got a fortune of $33.7 billion and a heart even bigger. Mackenzie made headlines during her high-profile divorce from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, where she received a 4% stake in the company. But what really sets her apart is what she did next. She pledged to give away about half of her wealth. That's right, she's been on a philanthropic spree, donating approximately $16.5 billion to nearly 2,000 nonprofits. Talk about spreading the love. Mackenzie isn't just a philanthropist, she's also an author. She's published two books, adding another feather to her already impressive cap. So if you're ever looking for some good reads, you know where to turn. Mackenzie's approach to philanthropy is refreshingly no-nonsense. She believes in giving big, giving fast, and making a real impact. It's like she's the Santa Claus of the billionaire world, only she's working year-round. Gina Reinhart, with a net worth of $30.8 billion. Gina is the executive chairman of Hancock Prospecting, a privately owned mineral exploration and extraction company. She's the queen of the outback, turning dirt into dollars on an epic scale. Gina's journey is anything but ordinary. She's an economics dropout from the University of Sydney who turned her family's struggling business into a mining empire. Today, she's listed among Forbes' 100 most powerful women in the world. Not bad for someone who decided textbooks weren't her thing. Gina's no stranger to controversy, often making headlines with her outspoken views. But love her or hate her, you can't deny her business acumen and her ability to strike gold, literally. Abigail Johnson, who boasts a $29.7 billion fortune. Abigail stepped into the role of CEO at Fidelity Investments in 2014, succeeding her father. She holds a significant 28.5% ownership stake in the company, steering this financial behemoth with a steady hand. What's particularly noteworthy is Fidelity's recent venture into Bitcoin spot ETFs in the US, with the instrument trading under the ticker FBTC. That's right, Abigail is not just resting on her laurels, she's leading Fidelity into the future of finance. Cryptocurrency, here we come. Despite her high-powered role, Abigail is known for her down-to-earth demeanor and her commitment to innovation. She's not just managing money, she's shaping the future of investing. Miriam Adelson and family. Finally, let's meet Miriam Adelson. With a fortune of $29.7 billion, Miriam is the widow of former Las Vegas Sands CEO and chairman Sheldon Adelson and owns over half of the casino company alongside her family. Las Vegas Sands is renowned for its casinos in Singapore and Macau, making it a global entertainment titan. But Miriam's story isn't just about casinos and high stakes. She and her husband were notable political donors, having contributed $90 million to Donald Trump's 2020 presidential campaign, making them the largest donors that year. Talk about putting your money where your mouth is. Miriam is also a physician, specializing in addiction treatment. She's got a medical degree and a passion for helping people overcome addiction. It's a fascinating contrast to her casino empire, proving she's got a heart as well as a head for business. Stay tuned, folks, because there are always more amazing stories to uncover in the world of wealth, wonder, and a whole lot of zeros. See you next time on our journey through the lives of the world's richest women.